Hi guys, it's Sylvia. I'm glad you came back to watch another video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this super fast, very easy and really cute soap saver. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to use 3.5 millimeter hook. Also, you will need a yarn needle, some scissors, and you will need cotton yarn. We are going to start with the slip knot. Wrap the yarn around your two fingers, like so. Go under your first one, on top of the second one, and create a slip knot. Just take this, so the focus is right where I need it. And we are going to chain 10 for start. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna grab your soap. In my case, I'm gonna be using this little one. But the pouch I created earlier uh, on, it's for the biggest soap. So uh, I got chain of ten. And I think it's not enough, so it depends how big is your soap, you need to chain your chain. So 10 is not enough, so 10, 11, 12, and let's see now, I think 12 is just perfect. So it um, should be just right in the middle on both sides. So let's do 12 in this video. I'm going to take the soap. And what we're gonna do now, we are going to do a single crochet all the way down. So insert your hook into this first stitch here, yarn over, yarn over again, and pull through two. Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through two. Insert your hook, yarn over, yarn over again, and pull through two. And we're gonna do this all the way down. So this is super easy soap saver, perfect for beginners. And all the way down, like so. And we got our last stitch here, and over and pull through two. So once you finish your single crochet all the way down, we are going to chain one and we are going to work on this opposite side here. So this is our first stitch here and we're gonna work into these loops there. So we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over, yarn over again and pull through two and we're gonna do Exactly the same all the way down. Cotton yarn, 100% cotton yarn is splitting a lot. Let me just tell you. Okay, into these loops here. Insert your hook. Insert your hook, you know where. And pull through. All the way down, go all the way down, and I meet you in the second. So I have one last stitch here, you know where, and I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch there. Let me just show you again. So this was my last stitch, and I'm going to see the V. This is our first. First one, so we're gonna insert double hook there and slip stitch. So this is our base for our soap saver. Super easy, nice and round, and it's going to look very, very cute. This is just perfect size for my soap. From now on, we are going to work half double crochet so I'm going to chain 
one and I am going to do half the double crochet in every stitch around. So yarn over, insert your hook into this first stitch here, pull through, yarn over again and pull through all three and we're gonna do all the way around half double crochet. Super easy and don't skip any stitches because we really don't want any gaps just yet. All the way around just like so. Next stitch here. Again, splitting a little bit, never mind. So I have last stitch here. You can use the stitch marker if you want. So um, I'm going to just put it into your first stitch here. Okay. So you know where is your start and where is your end. So once you get into your last stitch, which is uh, here, we are going to chain two. My yarn is splitting, so I just need to do it one more time. You are going to chain two, one and two. And now we are going to work on half double crochet, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be crossed a half double crochet, okay? So I just uh, show you just in the sack what do I mean by that? So we're gonna yarn over and first half double uh, first double crochet is gonna go into this stitch here, into this one here. That's first double crochet so you get like two next to each other and then we are going to skip the next one which is this one Let me just, uh, which is this one so we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna do half the, uh, double crochet into the next one here so yarn over into your hook here yarn over again pull through two yarn over again and pull through two so we skip this one and now we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go from the back into the stitch we skipped yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and we go this cross double crochet okay so we're gonna do again double crochet but we're gonna skip this one and we're gonna do double crochet into the next one here so yarn over insert your hook do double crochet just like this and we're gonna work again into the stitch we skipped so we're gonna yarn over and do double crochet in that so insert your hook from the back like so yarn over pull through Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And it's gonna give you this super cute X effect. Okay, so we're gonna do again. We're gonna skip the next stage and we're gonna do double crochet into the next one. So into your hook, yarn over, into a uh, yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over again, pull through two, and yarn over. And insert your, the hook from the back like so yarn over yarn over again pull through two yarn over again and pull through two I'm gonna do this all the way around so yarn over skip the next stitch and into the next stitch here I'm gonna do double crochet like so yarn over and now into the stitch we skipped we're gonna do double crochet again so yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two again 
and again you know what skip the next one and work into this one double crochet pull through two pull through two yarn over and we working again into the stitch we skipped yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and again yarn over skip the next one and into this one double crochet like so yarn over and into the stitch we skipped double crochet yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and do this all the way around until you come here where we started so i have one last one yarn over skip one walk into the next one double crochet you know well and double crochet into the stitch you skipped you know well pull through two you know what and pull through two and you should end up like this with one stitch here and then the chain of two so we're gonna found the top one this one here insert our hook in there and do a slip stitch okay let me just do it again because this yarn is splitting so much so it is a hundred percent cotton yarn so that's why and slip stitch perfect the next round we're gonna chain two again and we are going to work half double crochet again after you chain two we're gonna do half double crochet all the way around in each stitch so we are nowhere and into this first stitch here gonna do half double crochet you know well into the hook and do half double crochet all the way around you know what and pull through all three loops you know what into your hook you know again and pull through all three into your hook and pull through all three and we're gonna do this until you get the pouch the size you want of your pouch so we're gonna do double crochet cross stitch and then we're gonna do half double crochet and we're gonna do half double cro uh, double crochet across stitch half double crochet and that's how it's gonna create that's what is going to create our lovely pattern so yarn over into your hook and pull through all three yarn over into your hook and pull through all three yarn over into your hook yarn over again and pull through all three yarn over into your hook and this will become our pouch really cute and this is just a really lovely pattern for our soap saver so you know one into your hook you know again pull through all three you know again into your hook pull through all three so i'm going to finish this round of half double crochet with you and then i'll let you be and you're gonna carry on in this way until you get get the size of your pouch so uh, in my case this is my soap i'll just show you so this is our base for the soap I'll just wrap it around and you will need around you will need around 
12 centimeters because I like when the pouch is a little bit bigger here, like in here. So we can create a chain and this is just like a nice finish to your pouch when it's a little bit bigger. So let's do our 12 centimeters and I meet you back. Don't forget, you're doing double crochet cross, uh, cross stitch and then you're doing half double crochet. So one round, half double, one round, double cross stitch. thing I wanted to show you, I hope you remember how to close your round. So I got this uh, half double crochet, insert your hook, your nowhere and pull through all three. And when you come to the end, of course, count one, two, and second stitch, and those slip stitch. So get into your second stitch, like so, and slip stitch to close your round. So the next round will be again double crochet, cross stitch, and then half, half double crochet, double crochet, cross stitch half the book crochet carry on and meet you in the end so guys i'm nearly done with my pouch and my last row make sure your last row is um double crochet uh cross stitch because we want to use the chain and go through these bigger gaps in so we can close we can close our pouch like so one more time i'm going to show you how to do this uh, double crochet cross stitch again and this one will be my last row so chain two yarn over skip one and into the next one do double crochet and then yeah and this is my last one here my last double crochet cross stitch and you can close your round with the slip stitch into uh, inside the, this third stitch one two three into this third one like so okay we are done all we need just fast enough check if it's the correct size perfect all we need is just the string perfect present for this christmas so you are going to do a chain of i don't know it depends on you actually it depends how long you want your strings to be so i done my chain of 80 80 stitches for my string and you simply do the knot the end like so one and one more on the other side you can make your chain longer or shorter of course it's up to you and I'm going to take the soap out so it's much easier. Don't forget to tie your knots or hide your knots. And here you can do it with your hook or with your, your needle. But it's, it's easy with the crochet hook as well. So just hide it in. With your hook or with your yarn needle, and now you can start from the side. So fold your chain in half and you can go in this second one, or you can go to your top one but I'm going to go with this one here so I'm gonna 
go inside and you can help yourself with the hook so inside outside here and inside outside don't really need to use the hook because you go quite big gaps as you can tell and go all the way out in and out in and out in and out inside outside and there we go beautiful soap saver lovely